Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video of George Jelly. Today, I'm going to be telling you what build y'all should be able to use in Team of Team Ultimate Manhattan. I know this game is really underrated, but there are some people that still play this game. And if y'all are new to the channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe because it really helps me out. And enjoy the video. Do so. Okay, so first off, for Leonard. You know what? Hold on. I need to change the sound. I mean. So first off, for the Ninjutsus of Leonardo, we will be starting with Shockwave. What this does, it um, causes an electric shockwave on the ground to hit all enemies around you. Yeah. Um, foot. And the next, um, the next uh, Ninjutsu we're going to be using is Berserk Mode, which when you use it, it doubles your damage of what you can do. And then the other Ninjutsu will be Total Time. It slows time down. It slows all your enemies' time down, which can be able, which um, I I don't know how to say, it, which can be able for you to attack enemies when they in attacking you. And for the last in Jitsu, um, if I were y'all, I would usually do invincible for y'all beginners, so I wouldn't like easily die real quick. But for me, I use combo attack, so when spinning, I can just easily get a combo and then go back into it. Not not like that, pause. And then keep spinning, and then keep spinning. And the charms we will be using is uh, 50 strength up on one charm. What do, It helps Leo's strength when doing the spin move, which like takes like less than... And if I were y'all, I would get a berserk drink in order um, to... Um, Beat the bosses easily. And for this one, all we need is a bomb shirking and strength up. That's all for Leo. Um, foot liquor mommy milks. Afrath is better the attack when he's mostly the attack one. Same thing with Leo. But in just as we will be using is turbo mode. What this does is speeds the turtle up. Basically, you can even attack faster. You can move faster. Basically. The next ninjutsu we're going to be using is self mode. What this does, it makes you go invincible and are able to take out your enemies. But this is the good ninjutsu. It can cause distraction and take out stone guards easily besides the elites. Because that, that's fart nuggets. Um, we are also going to be using berserk mode. And if I were you, I would use berserk mode and turbo, time at, turbo mode at the same time. So I can be able to take out enemies easily. Um... Yeah, and it doubles your damage. Like I, I said that with the other one. Combo attack. I'm going to tell y'all why later that I chose combo attack for Raph. So moving on to the charms. We're going to use hot head. Hot, what hot head does, it lowers your uh, ninjutsu cooldown. We're also going to use strength up and fury of fist. Fury of fist is like basically combat speed. Like, like really fast. Like how fast you can hit the enemies. We're also going to use willpower and strength up again. And I don't know why Raph is shirking there. Moving on to Mikey. He, Mikey's especially the range shooter. He's range. He can be somewhat in an attack, but I'll tell you why. So the ninjutsus we'll be using is Shield Leader, where it can easily get your turtles and ninjutsus back so they can easily do more damage to them because, of course, ninjutsus do more damage. And next, we will be using Super Shuriken, but if you will, if you was going to use Super Shuriken, make sure you have a lot of Power Shuriken because a lot of Power Shuriken and Super Shuriken can do really good. To, uh, to bosses besides probably Karai cause, or Shrigger because, you know. UFO attack. What UFO attack does, it shoots like Weenuts UFOs around your head. It does, uh, no, it shoots three at a time and it's really good for damage. Like, if you have a bunch of power shirt and if you had a bunch of power shirt or not. Combo attack. Remember when I said that I was going to tell you why I um... Uh, had Raph's combo attack on. So, what basically Mikey's combo attack does, it basically, um, like, makes your enemies dance, basically paralyzes them, basically, somewhat. And then, you're gonna be able to take your enemies down easily. This is good for stone guards or any kind of enemies, even elites. Crane droids, I don't know. That's not gonna work. So, yeah, eat pizza rolls, kids. Yeah, I forgot. The charms we will be using is Power Shuriken. Um, you already know. I'm still trying to work on it. I'm not actually we're trying to work on it. Ah! As I was trying to say, the charms we will be using is Power Shuriken and another Power Shuriken. Willpower Sprinter and Bomb Shuriken. Just letting you know. If I don't find them too bad, too, too it's crap. Donnie is mostly the healer in the range of the team for me. So basically, Leo's an attack. 
full out attack, Raph's attack, Mikey's range, and Donnie C. Hiller in the range. So what Ninjitsu will be using for Donnie is UFO attack. Like I told you, on Mikey, it shoots three uh, green uh, lasers at a time to do damage. It's really good. Peach power. What Donnie only has is he doesn't he doesn't have it for any other turtle. It doesn't have it for any other turtle. What this does, it resurrect. No, it usually gives health to your team. Like say if you're fighting B Booby or someone, and then you die to a um, big fat chainsaw, you can easily use piece of power to resurrect them, and then they can get back in the fight and do more damage until you beat them. The super shuriken will also be good for Donnie for a range. And if y'all have power shuriken on and super shuriken on, you're gonna be unstoppable with Donnie. And the next ninjutsu will be. Either rain of fire. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all the three y'all can use. Y'all can use rain of fire, shockwave, or healing circle. But I'm gonna tell y'all what East Ninjutsu does. But I'm not gonna tell you shockwave because I already told you what it does. But what rain of fire does, you have a bunch of dynamite. You throw it in the air, and then it just explodes, dealing damage to all enemies that are in your way. Healing circle is just basically you place down some big fat green thingy, and then um. And then it heals your teammates if they're damaged. Like, say if you get knocked by Roxady's hammer while you're in the healing circle area, you can, you easily don't die. You get resurrected. And the charms we will be using is Power Circle and Fury Fist just in case if my Donnie needs to attack, but sometimes he doesn't. And um, you already know, Power Circle again, Anvil Power, Power Circle and Bomb Circle. That is going to be it for today. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to see you in my next video. Peace out.